if AutoCAD is slowing down on you and making it hard for you to work with your projects and your files, then this video is for you. I will show you four ways to speed up AutoCAD and make your life better. My name is Jay and I'm the founder of JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials on YouTube and I focus on AutoCAD for Mac. Let's dive in. The first tip is a really easy one. And it's basically based on you, on how many files you actually have open while you're working with AutoCAD. So for example, I have like three or four different projects that are open at the same time, and I'm really working on one. So make sure you're not opening too many projects at the same time, because it will slow down your software eventually, and it's better to just focus on what you have. The second tip is to actually unload any settings or any objects that you are not using within your project. For example, in this project right here, I do have a few blocks that are not loaded in here, but I do have them loaded in the blocks window. Oh, that's the reference manager in the next window. So here you can see I have a lot of blocks that are loaded, but I'm not really using any of them. So I need to get rid of them. And also I have some of the settings in the dimension settings that I'm not using and some settings in the text and so on. To clean all of this and get rid of any objects that you're actually not using within the same project, all you need to do is to use the first command. To access the first command, all you need to do is just type PU and then hit the return button. And then it will do a quick scan of your drawing to see what objects you're not using. And here you go, it's showing me that I have 239 blocks that I'm not using, a few dimension styles, a couple layers, and then some text styles. So, and also on the right side, you can see we have options to delete like zero length geometry, empty text objects, and orphan data. Now, I'm not sure about the orphan data and the nested item, but zero length geometry is if you start to draw a line and then you type zero, then AutoCAD would register that you created that, but it's just a zero length geometry. And another one is the empty text object, which can become problematic. So this tool will actually allow you to get rid of all these objects in one sweep. So all you gotta do is hit the first button and then it's gonna take care of that. And here you go, it will actually reduce your file size as well. The fourth tip that I have for you is called overkill. So what the overkill command does is actually it goes over your drawing and it will eliminate any duplicate objects sitting on top of each other. For example, this floor plan, if you look at it, I did actually duplicate it earlier to demonstrate this. So right here, I actually have two chairs sitting on top of each other. So if I select this block and I delete it with the erase command, you will still see another chair on top of it or below it. And the same for this rectangle and the same for this entire, uh, for this entire floor plan. So to fix that with the overkill command, what I recommend for you to do is to start the command first by typing overkill and then hit the return button. And then it will ask you to select object. So what you should do here, in my opinion, to make it the easiest way to use this tool to fix this, is to select everything you have in your drawing. And then once you do that, you hit the return button. And from here, you will get this window that will ask you how like fine you want it to delete any duplicate objects, okay? For the most part, there's nothing really to change here unless you really wanna customize it. But I do wanna get rid of everything, so I will just hit the okay button. And it did it. So now let's double check on it just to make sure it's working. I will delete this bed. Boom, there's nothing under it. And the same for this chair. Now it's clean. The last tip I have for you is actually a bonus tip, which is make sure you have the right hardware for using AutoCAD. If you're using an older computer or like a computer with some basic specs, it might not run smoothly as you would expect. So it's a good idea to try to invest in a good hardware whenever you get the chance. It's just a recommendation as you start working with AutoCAD more frequently or almost daily if you're in the industry. If this video helped you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching.